Wow, I need a haircut and my eyebrows done. <laughs> ASAP. I'm gonna get one today. What's good, Duffy Gang? It's your boy Tyler the Duff, and I'm back with another video. I am making this video, and this is gonna be the last time I'm gonna talk about this topic. This is the last time that I really even want to revolve drama around this topic in the first place. Um, I'm fully moved in. I still have to get some furniture for my apartment and everything like that. Um, so I've been extremely busy, but I'm about to start making new videos for y'all, not revolving around this topic, but this has been a huge, 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 huge portion of my life that has been impacted and it's just been an emotional roller coaster ride. So I want to start off by saying thank you guys that are my true supporters that are out there that support me and everything that I do. Thank you guys for always trying to uplift me. Thank you. And like, you guys do not go unnoticed promise you that it doesn't go unnoticed but what i'm making this video for today is the fake supporters or people that come to my page just to um try and make me feel bad um or people who supported me and then whatever anyways i have been reading comments lately especially on my most recent videos because of my breakup and everything like that um, a lot of people like to play and feel into drama. I'm just like, I don't have time for that. I'm definitely, I've grown out of that phase of wanting to like be in the know about like what. Can you stop? Y'all had all this time to chew on these loud ass toys. Uh, let me film my video. Um, yeah, I definitely grew out of that stage of wanting to be in the know of what everybody's going on and by the by the by um it really hurts seeing comments that are saying like oh the breakup was fake or this and that or you know you're fake everything that you do is fake and blah blah blah, blah. y'all i understand where a lot of people's mindsets are coming from because on the internet especially youtube a lot of people have twisted um have taken advantage of and are just not humble towards their supporters. And you guys ask for YouTubers that are very open and honest and um, you wanna see more uh, of their lives. I have, <laughs> this is my first time ever being this open on the internet before, especially with some, with a portion of my life that is so, that should be kept very private, you know, whether it's my sex life, whether it's my relationship, just I'm letting you guys in a lot more than I ever would have been comfortable doing. Um, that's not an issue for me. Um, what is the issue is, is that I try and be as family oriented with you guys as possible because when you guys subscribe to me, I see it as a family. I don't see you as a subscriber. I don't see you as, oh, you're a fan. Like I literally say supporters. I say family. You can keep on getting these toys and keep on coming right here and chewing on them. But I'm going to take every single one. Wait till I'm done. Thank you. Um, so when I'm being open and trying to be honest with you guys, because a lot of YouTubers would have lied about their relationship breakup. A lot of people would have tried to milk it out. Like y'all, I get it. But for me, it hurts whenever I'm trying to be honest and open because i even told you guys the side where i have messed up a lot of youtubers only want to say one side of the story they want to bash that one person and be like well they did this and they did that i have literally even on my live stream said well i was going to come over here and lie to y'all but i just cannot bring myself to lie about a topic whenever i was in the wrong as well i'm like i have no problem admitting whenever I am at fault because there is two sides to every story. I've done this before. I've been on YouTube for a couple of years now. I've done commentary on um, YouTube drama and stuff like that. I know there's two sides to every story. I know that one person may be more in the wrong, but two wrongs don't make a right. And that's what I'm trying to get at and trying to be so open and honest with you guys. It, I don't care necessarily where you're bashing me about a situation that I've done, but do not come to my channel talking about, oh, this breaker's fake, or, oh, he's going to get back with Anthony, or, oh, he's going to bring Anthony back on the on the channel, whatever. If I want to make another video with Anthony, I'm going to make another video with Anthony because this is my channel and I am grown. So if I wanted him in for another video, that that's fine. You guys can hate him, but don't hate him <laughs> like hate is just such a 
unnecessary wave of emotions. And that's what I'm trying to work on too. I have a lot of resentment towards Anthony. There's a lot of things that I still believe could have went right. There's so many things that he has to grow and learn, but there's a lot of things that I have to grow and learn. And that I've learned so much, even just in this short time frame of us being in a relationship, like two years, a year and a half, like that was my fiance. This was my boyfriend. We spent a lot of time together. So it's super hard for me. It is like in this time right now, this has been, like I said, one of the hardest things that I ever had to go through, especially having to face eyes that are on me. There's 90,000 eyes on me. And that's not even including people who don't hit the subscribe button or people who have unsubscribed and still watch from a distance. Like there is the subscribers, but then there's millions of views a month that people are just watching. So having to get on camera and admit and be open, you know, which people are asking for, it hurts whenever somebody's like, oh, he's lying. Oh, he's fake. Oh, he's going to do. Child, I know the internet's open opinion, but if you're my true supporter, you need to understand where I'm coming from and where I'm coming from in the heart. Because if you put yourself in my shoes, I'm already down. I truly don't need to be continued to be kicked while I'm down. Um, I'm very proud of everything that I've achieved. I'm very proud of this new apartment, especially being with my roommate and being able to want to move forward. As much as I want to get back with him, like I said, there's it, it, it's not the time. And it hurts so bad. <laughs> it definitely hurts. I've lost sleep over this. I've lost, um, I just, I just, I can't. So I've definitely taken a step back on YouTube. I know you guys have, but if you've been watching my life, there's been multiple factors as to why I've stepped back from YouTube a lot, but I am coming back full-fledged with videos. Um, I definitely, like, I still have YouTube. I still have, I got a job. I have OnlyFans. Like, I'm trying to create multiple sources of income. I am investing in the stocks. Subscribe to OnlyFans, by the way, because, you know, if you're trying to see all this, because I know some of y'all trying to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, y'all, I'm, I'm trying my hardest to push through, and I think it's very disrespectful if you claim to be my supporter and you are not understanding where I'm coming from. So I hope that you guys really do open up your mind to, to and put yourself in my shoes about why a lot of things happened the way that they did. And you know, there's still a lot of things that I haven't even said, but I've been open and I've even said, Anthony's gonna be staying with me in my old apartment. Even after we broke up, I had to help them. Some people are like, oh, well they're faking this breakup because they still live together. Like I've been saying everything that has been going on, but then it's still like, some people just want to be like, oh, this is fake. Oh, this is wrong. Girl, I've said it so many times of what is going on. And, I, and I've seen a lot of y'all in, in the comments correcting a lot of people. But people still have like these weird conspiracies. And I'm like, the internet's doomed. What is real and what's fake? Can you even determine that anymore? <laughs> like, I just, I don't understand. But guys, I want to put this to rest. I'm so excited to be in this apartment. I'm so excited to create content and I'm so excited for you guys to see everything that's gonna be going on in my life. I'm still gonna be sharing my life, um, but y'all, the conspiracies and everything like that, let it go, sis. I'm over it and it's draining and I don't need that in, on my channel. I don't need that energy being attacking my subscribers. If you are somebody who likes drama or you're only here to wanna see what's fake next, unsubscribe. I'm done. Like I will start blocking. And this is why I have moderators. I will start blocking, removing you to where you can't even do it no more. And I'm over it. So um, again, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for subscribing. And thank you guys for sticking it out with me. And thank you guys for always leaving such supportive comments. I love you guys to death. Um, yeah. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Deuces.